What up, my awesome listeners? This is Ryan Lee here, and today's topic is the digital nomad life, the financial freedom, the I get to travel anywhere I want, live wherever I want, do whatever I want, whenever I want. This sort of freedom wanderlust experience that they are trying to sell you. So here's the thing. That's great. That's that's fantastic. You get to live in the Bahamas or Cancun or any other resort type places that people dream about living in, or you live in like Southeast Asia or the Philippines, Cambodia, somewhere very nice and tropical and relaxing, and it feels great, and you're doing something you like, and you're making money. That all sounds really, really great. But of course, there's the catch-22, because there's always that catch-22. And the catch-22 is that the money to actually make that happen. Now, of course, there are going to be a ton of videos that are stating, oh, it's really cheap. All you got to do is do Airbnb and then pack very little things. But... Here is the thing. It's all about this sort of freedom, but what is actually happening? Because can you imagine the living conditions that you actually have to go through? Especially if you're used to living comfortably. Just kind of let that sink in. Now, when I say living comfortably, I mean a roof over your head, blankets to sleep in, just the essentials of living under a roof. And then just kind of imagine what those living conditions are like with those guys. And of course, they're going to glamorize it. They're going to say, well, I sleep on those... I forgot what what you call them, but those little fabric things that swing left and right. I'm I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm saying or one of you guys in the comments down below will tell me how wrong I am and things like that and tell me what that thing is because it's, it's on the tip of my tongue, but I don't know what it is. It's, you know, it swings left and right. Damn. I have no idea. But anyways, I'm heading off topic Going back to being a digital nomad, it's awesome, believe me. It is probably one of the best experiences ever. But how do you get there from going where you are now? So the first thing is obviously to save money. The second thing is to make sure that your money makes you more money. But the third thing is that the type of risk that you are taking and the lifestyle that you are living, this is something that appears to be really, really good on video. But how is it like actually day to day? Because here's the thing, I only see those things in videos too. And of course, as a content creator myself, one of the things is that you only want people to see what you want them to see. Can I get what I'm saying? So, the real life of a digital nomad can be something that is very much different. And let's not forget about the failures because here's the thing, folks. Those videos that you see to glamorize the wanderlust lifestyle basically are people that are pretty successful, right? And when you see a lot of people that are being successful, you got to think about it. It's easy. Why not I try it? And the things that they don't show you are the every few success 10 plus 100 plus 1000 plus failures that are not recorded on camera because they don't want you to see it. Exactly. Kind of let that sink in, folks. So I'm not saying don't be a digital nomad. I'm not saying 
don't do it. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that you got to have a freaking realistic expectation when you're going out there. Because, again, it's cool to give the middle finger to your job. It sucks when you burn bridges and then you don't have a fallback plan just in case if things don't work out. Come on, guys. Risk. Basic risk management. And that is something that not a lot of people will teach you because more than likely, if you're watching something and they're an influencer type, they're going to sell you something. That's their whole plan. Their income is based off of your income. This is something that if you watch my videos for long enough, it's probably going to be drilled into your head. But these people's income are based off of your income. And if they cannot sell you on something, then that's pretty much where that ends for them. That's it. And here's the thing. There's nothing wrong with that. Again, you're, that's probably going to get drilled into your head too. There's nothing wrong with a business in exchange for a service or a product for money. That's what business is. There's nothing wrong with that. So business is not evil. Business is just business. But if going into the videos with the right minds, with the right expectations, you are far better off than going in there 100% ready to buy product with the hopes and dreams of turning said product into money later on somehow, some way. I don't want you to have that mindset. On the other hand, oh, here is a product. Okay, here is the money that I'm going to spend. Okay, how is the product liked? Look at the reveals. Look at the actual reveals, do not look at testimonials, because people buy those things, people buy testimonials, once again, people buy testimonials. So let's not do that, and then, really think about that product, and then see if it's worth it. So the whole Wonderlust Digital Nomad is, again, it's a product that is being presented to you, and you choose whether or not you want to buy it. If you do, that's great. If you don't, that's okay. The whole point is that going in there with the right expectations. And of course, you should have layers and layers of safety nets when you do. Anyways, before the video gets too long and boring and then you guys click away, if you made it this far into the video and you haven't subscribed yet, Click on the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to ring that bell to become part of the mighty notification squad. And as always, you guys stay awesome.